What's up, everyone? It's Tech Trooper 64 and today I would like to just talk about BioWare and Mass Effect. Now, Mass Effect Andromeda is going to be coming out very soon. It's coming out in March uh, 27th, I think, or 26th, something like that, around those lines. Anyway, um, I've never actually played a Mass Effect game. I was actually really hoping that last year they would release a Mass Effect Trilogy remaster, but they didn't, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Uh, but I actually really want to get into the Mass Effect series, but I was never really a big fan of it, but I really want to get into it, so I might buy Mass Effect Andromeda, but that's not what this video is about. Well, it is technically about that, because today, according to EA and Origin, Mass Effect Andromeda's PC system requirements have been officially revealed, so it'll tell you how much it is to install the game and what you need. So I'll start with the minimum requirements. In terms of the OS, you can have a choice of 64-bit versions of Windows 7, Windows 8.1, and Windows 10. The processor that you will need is an Intel Core i5-3570 or an AMD FX-6350. That's actually a CPU that I have. Uh, now, the memory that you will need as a minimum is 8 gigabytes of RAM, which is kind of a standard nowadays. Uh, now, your GPU will need to have a NVIDIA GTX 660 at 2GB or an AMD Radeon at 7850 2GB uh, as well. The hard drive will need at least 55GB of free space, and you will need to have at least the latest version of DirectX 11 in order to run the game. Now, that's just for the minimum requirements. This is now the following for the recommended requirements. Now, you will need to have a 64-bit Windows 7 PC, Windows 8.1, or Windows 10. The processor, the CPU in other words, you will need an Intel Core i7, a 4790, or an AMD FX 8350. Jesus. Uh, the memory, you will need 16 gigabytes of RAM for the recommended space. Oh, God, that's a lot. Anyway... Uh, the GPU will need a NVIDIA GTX 1060 at 3GB or an AMD RX 480 at 4GB. The hard drive will still need 55GB of space and you will need at least DirectX 11. Jesus, these are huge. For recommended, that's insane. Uh, now I'm going to wait until Digital Foundry posts their own uh, tech specs about... Um, you know, about uh, Mass Effect Andromeda and see what you will need as a minimum. Uh, I am actually building a new PC, which I'm calling the Monster PC, because it's going to be around $2,000 worth, because I want to make it like a beast that can do things at 4K, because I'm having doubts that the PS4 Pro... Well, I already had doubts that the PS4 Pro won't be able to, but the Xbox Scorpio is not going to be able to do 4K, in my opinion, for everything. So I, I want my own PC to do that. Anyway, let's continue uh, talking about this. So I think that's insane. 60 gigabytes is a little insane for my taste. Uh, I was told by a friend that 8 gigabytes should do you fine. So <clears throat> I don't know if that's, like, legit, because in the past, uh, EA has been a little bit touchy with that and it's not necessarily what you need but they say you need it anyways that's just me i think it's a little extreme but what do you guys think in the comments down below be sure to rate comment favor and subscribe and let me know what you guys think if this is a little extreme for the recommended system requirements or is this normal for you i'll see you guys next time peace